Um, I thought I'd make this video to show everybody what I pretty much made. I made a ghost stick. It's that, that's kind of a patented, not patented, but that's what I call it because it's a walking stick go pole. And my GoPro mounts up here, you know, and there's the case. And um, it's got the two grips, one for the walking stick portion and the other at the very bottom base for me to hold out the pole and get a nice picture of me in the surrounding area. But um, I basically built this all myself. Uh, it comes with a little inside here. What this attaches to right here is a uh, little piece that came with the camera. It was like a little accessory piece where you can lengthen out the way the camera stand, uh, will, will stand on one of the stands. And so I, what I did was I took that piece and I shoved it down the three quarter inch um, piping, PVC piping, and it's got a bolt on the bottom of it. And that's what that bolt goes through. That bolt goes straight through a little plastic piece right there and out on the other end. And um, I got that. That bolt is a 15 millimeter bolt. And um, I got that one at uh, Auto, or no, what is it, uh, Home Depot. And basically what I did was is that uh, this thing is supposed, to be float, uh, is supposed to be float capable. So I can throw this thing into the water and it will float. And um, what I did to do that was is I, I made the length exactly the length I wanted it because it's perfect for me. It can be any length. And um, this joint right here, yes, I know is ugly, but the reason why that joint is in it is because um, I used foam sealant and I filled up this entire area with foam sealant, both top and bottom. And um, it gets kind of hard to fill up a, a very long tube with it. It'll just clog it up. So that's why I did two sections. And um, basically what I did with that is is that you use the PVC glue to uh, glue the ends. And um, you'll notice I have a cap at the bottom, right? Let's see how good of a camera we've got. See that cap right there? That cap has a bolt drilled through it. It was a 14 millimeter and it's got a washer on the end. And it's bolted up so where I can use that to, to grab the ground for a walking stick because most walking sticks have pointed ends. So um, I made that as kind of like a, this is all fabricated by me. I thought it was interesting. This is all thought up by me. And um, you know, you it's whatever you can think, you know, Pe people can think up amazing things. So um, I really didn't want this pole to be just um, carried. That's kind of useless. You know, you just have extra weight. So I made it into a walking stick, which has dual functions. And so um, that's the way I did it. Uh, the bolt on the bottom has glue on it, so it's not coming off. That bolt up there has glue on it, so it's not coming off. So, um, you know, that's basically basically it. And I bought everything cost me about 20 bucks. And that was just because um, the goop that I used, I used goop up here in this end that has goop in it. And goop's like five bucks. And, I mean, really, the most expensive part that wasn't the actual stuff that I had left over was the uh, grips. Those grips are six bucks. And, yes, they don't, they don't technically wrap all the way around it. Yeah, that's kind of tacky, um, but that was the best I can do. Um, I will spray paint this, obviously. It'll be black, but um, this was just a rough thing. And the handles are glued on, super glued on. Um, and, like I said, the uh, center of this pipe has foam sealing in it so it should float so this was um this design myself is actually myself the ghost stick the, the walking stick portion being my my design i didn't see too many other poles like i got this this design from somebody else online somewhat um that told me or they, they said to fill it up with foam sealant so that it floats um, I used that idea, and then I formed it to the way I wanted it to. So, um, yeah. If you guys want to use this design, have fun. Enjoy.